Who's this one? <laughs> this is a new person. Let me get it to new people. Excuse me for a moment. She's my therapist. Awesome. Did you block bookings? Whose car is that? That's my car. How can that be your car? Oh, for God's sake! I'm the widow of a drug dealer. I own property in central London. And for the last bloody time, John, I'm not your housekeeper. Yeah. True. I'm sorry, I answered your phone. You were busy. Nice car, by the way. Is this Dr. John Watson? Yeah, who's this? Culverton Smith. You've probably heard of me. Uh, well, yes. Get me a fresh class of wards, please. This one's filthy. God, dude! I've sent a car, I should be outside. Mr. Holmes gave me an address. Well, he, he couldn't have given you this one. <laughs> Is when you're ready. You never have a choice, man. You're back in ever since Maybe. that first Shall episode. Two weeks ago. How did you know? How? On Monday, I decided to get a new therapist. Tuesday afternoon, I chose her. Wednesday morning, I booked today's session. Now, today is Friday, so two weeks ago, two weeks before you were abducted at gunpoint and brought here against your will, over a week before I even thought of coming here, you knew exactly where you'd need to be picked up for lunch? <laughs> I correctly anticipated the responses of people I know well to scenarios I devised. Can't everyone do that? How? <laughs> Except the boot. The boot was mean. Uh, never mind how he's dying to tell us that. I want to know why. Because Mrs. Hudson's right. And the bottom of the pit and I'm still falling and I'm never climbing up. I need you to know, John. I need you to see that up here I've still got it. So when I tell you that this is the most dangerous, the most despicable human being that I have ever encountered, please remember where you're standing because you're standing exactly where I said you would be two weeks ago. I'm in hell, but I am not wrong. Not about him. Um. Yeah, well, they're real enough, I suppose. Why would I be faking? Because you're a liar. You lie all the time. It's like your mission. Well, you're a doctor. Examine me. No, I need a second opinion. Oh, John, calm down. I need the one person who, unlike me, learned to see through your bullshit long ago. And I'm sure it was right the next last person you think of. Or Molly. I want you to be examined by Molly Hooper. We're really not going to like this. Like what? <laughs> you called her already. Oh. Oh, Even in this state, he's still got it. I'm sorry, Sherlock asked me to come. What, two weeks ago? Yeah, about two weeks. If you'd like to know how I predict the future. I don't care how. <laughs> okay, fully equipped ambulance. Molly can examine me on the way and save time. Ready to go, Molly? Um, Just tell me when to cough. Hope you remembered my coat. I've seen healthier people in the slab. Yeah, to be fair, you work with murder victims. They tend to be quite young. If you keep taking what you're taking at the rate you're taking it, you've got weeks. Exactly, weeks. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So this is real. Well, you've really lost it. You're actually out of control. Where have I ever been? Since the day I met you, clever boy. Missed you fumbling around the place. I thought this was some kind of what? Trick. This is not a trick, it's a plan. What plan? I'll tell you. Why not? Because you won't like it. Mr. Holmes! I don't do handshakes. It'll have to be a Holmes. I know. <laughs> oh, Sherlock. Dangerous. After what we saw at the beginning, I don't know if I can believe what he's saying about this guy, but he is like... I don't know, I don't trust him. He's probably right about him, but since he's not in a good state, no one is gonna believe him. They're gonna think he's crazy. Oh, you can have this back now. <laughs> I'm all back. Thanks for the hug. Oh, I sent a deleted a text. You might get a reply that I doubt it. Is password protected? Please. <laughs> We're going to have endless fun, Mr. Holmes. Aren't we? Mm -hmm. No, no, endless. I have a hard time focusing on the case because I'm so worried about him. Well, he said he had weeks to continue using the drugs. Yeah, <laughs> have you seen him? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Wasted time. Indeed, you have, I estimate, 20 minutes left. Sorry? I sent a text from your phone. Remember, it was read almost immediately, factoring in a degree of shock and emotional decision and a journey time based on the associated address. I'd say that your life, as you know it, has 20 minutes left to run. Well, no, 
17 and a half to be precise, but I rounded up for dramatic effects. So please do show us your favorite room. It'll give you a chance to say goodbye. <laughs> Come along. So, your favorite room, the mortuary. What do you think? Tough call. Oh, I don't know. No, I always found them quite liable. Don't do that. She's fine. She's dead. H.H. Holmes loves the dead. He built a hotel, a special hotel, just to kill people. Yeah. You know, uh, hanging room, gas chamber, specially adapted. I can remember him. Right. Sweeney Todd. Without the pies. He's so stupid. creepy. <laughs> so stupid. We want to hide a murder. We want to hide lots and lots of murders. Just find a... Hospital. True. They're going to hide a leaf in the forest, right? To what? It sounds like a confession. Am I a serial killer? Or am I just trying to mess with your funny little head? Well, it's true. I do like to mess with people, and yes, I am a bit creepy, but that's just my USP. I use it to sell breakfast cereal. But am I what he says I am? Let me ask you this. Are you really a doctor? Of course I am. Are you... Are you actually serious? Well, I've played along with this joke. It's not funny anymore. No. Look at him. Go ahead, look at him. Dr. Watson. Hmm? There are two possible explanations for what's going on here. Either I'm a serial killer, or Sherlock Holmes is off his tits on drugs. Hmm? Why not both? <laughs> I, I, I've miscalculated. I forgot to factor in the traffic. Nineteen and a half minutes. <clears throat> uh, the footsteps you're about to hear will be very familiar to you, not least because there'll be three impacts rather than two. The third, of course, will be the end of a walking cane. Your daughter Faith's walking cane. Why would she be here? You invited her. Did you know? She came to Baker Street. No, she didn't. Of course I didn't. She came to see me because she was scared of her daddy. Never happened. Is this another one of your drug-fueled fantasies? I'm wondering. You didn't take the scalpel, so you didn't know what was about to happen. Of course I didn't know. Well, let's see, shall we? Faith, stop loitering at the door and come in. Dad? What's happening? What was that text? Do you have one of your jokes? It's not her again. Who are you? Oh. That's why I can't trust anything that's happening. So who was that? some build up. He didn't just suddenly do it. Look, I didn't know he had the bloody scalpel. Sorry, I'm not sure I completely understand. Uh, understand. Who has a scalpel? Sherlock? Sure we old friends. No, we've never met. Oh, dear. I don't think I've ever been anywhere near your flat. Oh, dear. What's going on? Oh. What friends? Anyone? Well, we could pretty much guess that no one was there, but... So you can watch it, Mr. Knife. Got to what? Got a scalpel. You picked it up from that table. I saw you take it. I certainly did not. Your mind is back. <laughs> I saw you take it. I saw you. <laughs> oh, 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 Probably want to see this. I don't think I'd be standing here now if it wasn't for Dr. Watson. Stop it! Stop it! Now! Is that true? He's being treated in your hospital. It's not actually my hospital. Well, it is a little bit my hospital. Uh, but I can promise you this he's going to get the best of care. I might even move him to my favorite room. Confidence oh, space no. earlier today. No, but that was ominous. Maybe he is doing like H.H. Holmes, you know? 
The Where thing is, is I believe that Sherlock is right about it. But since his mind is so unfocused. <laughs> John? That has nothing Damn to do. Stop it, John. Please, 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 no violence. Let him do what he wants. He's entitled. I killed his wife. No, it's not true, guys. Yes, you did. No, dude. Kill Marie, but you're a factor to her death. That's not the same thing. That's totally and they different. Got, they got in this situation knowing what the consequences could be. But like he blames him for what happened to Mary, and, know, and Sherlock blames himself. He mentioned the guy that that made the hotel to like his his torture hotel, his murder hotel or something. Yeah, we secret pass, pass, passage. And it's true that compared to a hotel, a hospital is awfully convenient to kill people. I hope he has a plan, and he's not just completely lost. 